Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. It is another episode of the Pre-P Pod podcast. I'm here as always, Mr. Kale Austin, here with co-host Co Kamish, newly engaged man, the Dragon Brooks. My dragon cave is freaking out. But yes, thank you. Rocking it already. You got a cool blue one. Oh my goodness. You're not supposed to do it when you're engaged, man. I know, but I, I figured my finger you got the rest of your life to wear that thing. My finger has to get used to it because I'm really bad at remembering I've found out. <laughs> I wear it like half the time. And then back, back with us, the permanent guest. He's been gone for a couple weeks. He had some things to take care of, but he's here now and that's all that matters. Garrett, how are you doing? Good to be back. Good to return on a, a good week. Um, it, it just feels good to be back. That's good. That's what we like to hear. Uh, you may notice we look ridiculous. It's Halloween, y'all. Happy Halloween to everyone. Spooks out. Darn tootin'. I will not let my kids go trick or treating. <laughs> but anyway, we have a lot to get into this episode. Lots to talk about. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in to our recap of last week. Pretty yeah. solid week overall. I thought it was a great week. Garrett, what about you? Thought it was good. Then I got a little worried. Then I got really worried. Then I shit my pants. Then I felt really good. But then I was worried about a stat correction. And now I'm good again. <laughs> I'm still actually kind of worried about stat corrections, though. That, that I think it would have dropped already. It did happen tomorrow. That last one happens like Wednesday night. Did you uh, say I will say, stay tuned, because guys, we have a lot of crazy trade action to talk about. At the end of this episode. Quite a bit. If you, Quite a bit to debate. Yeah, a lot of debates, a lot of discussions. So it might be a longer recap, but the end of it will be really entertaining. So, Drama? Sus? Sussy baka? Backstabbing? Oh. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, let's just jump into my game real quick. There's not much to say. I, oh, there's I, a lot to say. I, well, knew, you bed. I knew by about 1 p.m., Garrett and Nell, or Garrett was at my house. I was like, I, I'm done. And I was like, I'm not even saying this because I usually say I'm done, but I was done. Because I watched, I was watching the Detroit game. Amon Ra catches the pass. I'm like, nice. My first time I get to use him. Boom. He's stumbling off the field. And I'm like, oh my <laughs> gosh, this is happening. And then they took him out. But uh, I don't think it's like he an took actual. took a bicep to the helmet. And that was like such yeah. a makeup call from like every other head injury. Yeah, and they said he's already passed really a bunch of protocols. Bad. So there's that. I'm not a doctor, but yeah, whatever. I started. I started the week with Zach Ertz. Like, just they didn't need to throw any balls because they were up by so much. Um, yeah. And I, Lamar got me seven points, so that kind of. I my team just did not show up, and then Nellis had a great week. So if I can take one shining thing from this it's that i didn't waste a good week against another good week and lose that's fair that's good. how did it you feel? had go ahead Gary, sorry had, uh he had two players that scored their project projected total and then everyone else was like half or less it was it was nice yeah yeah. How did, it, uh, how did it feel to see Mike Evans drop that wide open, like 60 yard touchdown? So I was watching Red Zone and I didn't see it, but then I watched it later and I was like, well, it wouldn't have helped. So I'm not even that upset. Yeah. You definitely still would have lost, but. And man, Mike Evans was... was your best player this week, too. Yeah. And I mean, that makes yeah. me feel good going forward. He's my flex player. So it's like. That your best player can't catch a ball wide open? That makes you feel good? That is a little long. He's still at 18 points. That's not a bad week. <laughs> yeah. Should have had about 30. But uh, I, I mean, just everyone except for Joe Mixon and Damian Pierce and I guess Mike Evans, kind of my team gave up. But hey, on to the next week, it's I lost to a really good team, so I'm not upset, you know. And I mean, Nellis's team just looking down the list, it's like, good damn. We we say it every week. He has one of the best teams. Yeah, he sure does. One for a reason. Yeah. He's, I believe, the only six and one person left now. Not to spoil the rest of the recap, but no, I think Ethan is six and one, isn't he? No, they're him and Steve are both five and two now. Yep, 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 yep. Um, 
Yeah, Nelson's team is scary. Kenneth Walker. The fact that Saquon had only 17. I say only 17, but only 17, and he still scored 135. It's just nuts. Yeah, it's kind of just painful at this point. But good job, Danellis. Um You guys got the win on that one. I picked myself and lost. I'm not even upset. That was but... dumb of you. Um, well, I guess... picks himself every week. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm going to pick next week. Uh, going to the barn burner of the week here, Garrett and Phillip. Yeah, this, this was crazy. I mean, <laughs> the fact you won this by one point and Joe Burrow scored 42 points. Like, Joe Burrow was a third of your points. Well, yeah, because he scored 40. Lots of times whenever you score, have a player with 42 points, that's going to be your highest scoring player. Yeah, I think almost every time. So, but yeah, I mean, I, I've I mean, been very blessed with my quarterback position this year. Yeah. Uh, it's put me in a good position. And I'm. it feels good to be finally be on the right side of a close game because – you have been yeah, yeah. part killer. of a few of those this year, the wrong side. Uh, it feels good to be on the right side, that's for sure. Um, a great call with the Jawan Johnson pickup, by the way. Also Dude, save your name. <laughs> that was kind of like a last second, like, shit, I'll try something. Yeah, that was that was a good call. But yeah, one point difference, man. That's, that's as close as you can get without tying. I also made every... I made every right decision I could. It's not like anyone on my bench lit it up, you know. I guess <laughs> only one person on your bench scored anything. So, yeah. Yes, you did. The, yeah, uh... this is this was my bye week. Uh, this this bye week hit me hard. That's for sure. But but I you pulled through. With the win, so. I would say definitely a bit of luck that Mark Andrews scored zero points. That that doesn't oh. happen. Well, everything, ever like I was saying this before we started. My brother was texting me. and was like, "You got really lucky," and I was like, "Skill, bro." And he and he was like, "You your team did well, but a lot of people on his team scored like thirty nine yards or yeah, forty seven yards. Just like one more thing would have tipped the scales." But that's fantasy, baby. That's why we play fantasy. That is yeah, indeed is. fantasy. His bench definitely <laughs> killed yours. Man, Mark just, Andrews is zero. That is crazy. That is, I mean, <laughs> insane. You know, <laughs> didn't touch the ball once. Uh, but yeah, I mean, good job, Garrett. Congrats on a on a close win. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we all picked Philip, by the way. Wow, we're so, a bunch of dumb dumb. Be wrong about that one. <laughs> it's a win for Garrett and a loss for all of us. I'm just gonna pick against myself every time now. Uh, but yeah, let's bounce on. I tried over that to... strategy. It only works about one week. <laughs> let's bounce on over to Austin and Travis. All right, Travis, that finally ended the drought. And hey, this this is big for all of us because Austin losing to Travis is like that's best case scenario because like now are he... we all in the same division. Yeah, we're all Travis. three of us are all three of us: oh, Austin and Grayson. Seems like a conflict and Steve. of interest. And Steve. So, well, thank Austin God. losing is a really big, big thing because he's been on a hot streak. And it was a Travis. So, huge for the boys. Yeah, um, Austin's team really let him down this week. 88, no matter how you slice it, is just... Uh, well, he did. If he you had, remember, he had a five bye weeks. He had a bye week hell. Jalen Hurts. I had four. You got to pick. You got to pick up. That's why you draft three quarterbacks, Caleb. That's hey, why you draft hey. two tight ends, baby. It worked for you. I can't deny facts. Okay, but he did have a rough week to get through. Yeah, I mean, like I, I think Austin just he survived. He's done with his bye week. He he paid the price. He paid the troll toll. I mean, we have to start talking about like we're in. Center middle of the season, you know. We are uh, exactly halfway through the regular season for so fantasy. We can start talking about like like busts of the year. I think Kyle Pitts might be the most like one of the oh. highest letdowns of the year. For yes, sure. yes, a hundred percent. Yes, I think like, you're this right. guy was 
top two or three in his position on all the leaderboards, and he is just not doing anything. Ass. Yeah. I mean, he was an early draft pick too. Like that was like second or third round. Mine. Second or third round. Yeah. <laughs> I got yeah. Way to get rid of that. Um. Yeah. I mean, Travis didn't have a bad week. Juju. Just saying, looking real good. good. Um, Mike Williams, courtesy of me, but um, he is hurt now. So, yeah. Uh, Melvin Gordon, man, that that guy just got dumped by the Broncos. I don't know what they. I don't know what they're playing. I mean, dead. I wouldn't have any offensive players from the Broncos. They're you just... remember you said he had potential. All that's the why potential. I, that's why I traded him before he showed or didn't. <laughs> All that potential. Hey, the first week I traded him, he had 12 points. That's not bad. What's he done the other weeks? Zero and six. Okay. But hey, I will say Mike I would Williams, talk trash about that trade, but I'm kind of in a glass house right now. So I'm Well, I will say off. Mike Williams had 21 points and 23 points after the trade. So he has showed out. And between that, he had three, if I remember correct. 23, 3, and 21 is not bad. Boomer bust, as as I said, whenever the trade happened. <laughs> and Amon Ra has gotten me a total six points. So He's been on a bye week and been hurt in <laughs> three games that you've had him. Six points is six points. So I mean, that's, that's true. <laughs> Melvin Gordon is playing football, supposedly. Yeah, I mean Melvin I Gordon see got both sides because Blake, there is something to the fact that like I mean you you have to deal with bye weeks, everyone does, and yeah, and injuries. everyone has to deal with injuries too. So like that's I mean, there's something to that. The way I look at it is like I mean Mike Williams is probably out. They said many weeks is what I read. Multiple what, weeks. What was his injury? His ankle got twisted really bad. Apparently, yeah. So. I mean, like, if that's the price I got to pay is two bad weeks from a Monra, and then now I have hopefully someone healthy, I'm not upset. But either way, diverging, uh, Travis got a nice win. And I will say, we all called it. We said it was the time. Okay, I didn't know if you guys did or not, but I remember I called it. And I, I called do remember that. I've, been, I've just been picking him. You had to get it right eventually. But uh, yeah, that congrats to Travis on his first win. It's got to feel nice. I think I know what I did this week. I think I picked all of like the teams on like one side of the the app. So like, I think I picked like all the teams that were on the right on the side. right side. Yeah. So far, you're two and one on that. So, um, all right, on to Caleb. I would have picked against myself, in my Billy. Life. That's. I think that's what decided. Caleb, another good week from the young man. And you're creeping up through. the board. Yeah, we just got one big glaring issue. Brees Hall's dead. Brees Hall is dead. Yeah, that dead. sucks. That really does suck. Yeah. I, I hate that, that for bites. you, and I hate that for Brees Hall, because that he's a rookie. He's doing great, making a name for himself, and that happens. He was probably going to win Rookie of the Year, I would assume. I mean, oh, yeah. Or so is Sauce. Is Sauce. Or wait, Kenneth Walker. Rookie? Kenneth Walker would have given him a run for his money. That's fair, but I would have put I would have bet my money on Brees just because, I mean, he's just been tearing it. I mean, he had a sixty-two yard touchdown run before he got hurt. Like, am I just an idiot? Is Sauce Gardner not a rookie? He is a rookie. He's their cornerback okay, well, though. He's like the best corner. Yeah, he's gotten an interception yeah, for a touchdown. So I, all those I mean, awards go to offensive people. You know this. I mean, he's literally the best at his position. Whatever. The, Caleb, I'm going to be honest. I counted you out, and now you are back in it. You're just. You were absolutely back. Caleb and we had a separate things. discussion, and I told him, I was like, if you just win a couple in a row, you're right back in there. If the right people lose and the right people win, you're in the – it, I mean, It's happened. This week it happened. This week it definitely happened. I'm Man, Philly's team has the people to be good, but it's just – it's kind of been a downward slope. I'm I'm trying to – I can't see that graph, Caleb, that we were looking at. I, got, I can't – I can't say Garrett got lucky without saying I got a little lucky. The fact that McCaffrey got traded – in the middle of this week and wasn't like a full participant on that his is team, true definitely helped but i don't know i mean I, I won by 16 but mccaffrey could definitely do that in mccaffrey a game, so. looked really good in the 49ers every run he had right. was like a nine yard run i was like Whoo. what were i don't remember your guys's hot takes but mine was that Dak 
would come back with a vengeance and he yeah. came more back with like a with nothing a pillow fight to the face he won i mean a win yeah. against detroit i mean 13 points from a waiver wire quarterback's not bad it's I more than lamar most, got let me tell you that i think i think 13 is the most i've gotten out of a quarterback yet this year so i think 13 is like trash for a quarterback yeah lamar got says the man so josh sad. allen and freaking what's his face yeah, Garrett's a little spoiled quarterback points wise. I think I think on average, every week I've had my quarterbacks are averaging like thirty eight points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm four and three. So, um, now I, I, I will say, Garrett, because we were watching this together, but that Daniel Bellinger for the Giants that was a gross injury. That also helped. That yeah. man got poked in the eye. Oh, he was, was doing the well too. Yeah. Nobody I saw think, that. Nobody saw that coming. That's the worst. And that sucks because like he was doing really well for the Giants, and now he's he's probably out for at least a couple weeks. I don't know if this is a hot take, but I'd rather lose a leg than an eye. Oh. Uh. Yeah. It depends. I mean, because yeah, your depth perception's off, but I'd really lose an. I think I'm. I technically did lose a leg for a few months, and I got around. You're fine. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Congrats, Caleb. By the way, a win's a win. I yeah. Me and you picked you, and Philly was picked by Garrett. So, bizarre to us. Ha ha to Garrett. I'm I'm glad you won, Caleb. I miss Brees Hall already. Yeah, that's tough. This you, is like a what do they call it? A Ferric victory. You won, but at what cost? You know. Yeah, a flaccid I victory. I think. Yeah, it's a what? Flaccid victory. I don't think that's what it is. I don't think so. But but Dante yeah. Foreman looked good, so that's that's a promising. Yeah, I scooped him up just to see. Uh, it also helps that uh, Chuba Hubba or whatever the hell that other guy's name Chuba, is Chuba. got hurt so he should be the only running back for at least a couple weeks so that might help some but but yeah caleb a win we love to see it um now yeah, on to the, the game we've the finally year. been waiting for <laughs> steven's luck has run out yeah finally. big time finally these two hundred point have difference. the same record by the way but, garrett i didn't realize how upset We'll get to the trade in a bit. But you just gave this man that player. This man just scored 174 points, and you gave him. Why can't I think of this guy's name right now? Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow, who scored 42 this week. He would have broke 200. <laughs> he would have. <laughs> he broke, yeah. He I, had 174 with a QB get, getting 16. That's nuts. Garrett has doomed us all. Yeah, we'll I mean, yeah, but I took his – that. I took his defense that scored 25 points. We'll get to that later. I still haven't voted on that trade. You can veto it if you want. I'll get rid of Burrow somehow. Um, I mean, yeah, Steven's team just... Steven's got to do something. I mean... I mean, this his team never scores points. This is just finally the week that someone scored points against him. I will Other say than- it's rough... Golf went from negative two. Dubs went for zero. That's tough. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah, but I mean, give give Golf ten more points and Dubs ten more points, and he still only has ninety. That's true. That's true. Give fucking Golf thirty points. Like, there's nothing you can do against 174 points. There's literally nothing. Yeah, but if he's looking at the logic, he he's through his bye week for Dalvin Cook and Bills defense and Dallas Goddard. So, I mean, I don't know how much that helps him, but. We were watching the game game with my brother, and there was like a 30 minute. There's a stretch where it seemed like every other play they would break to Josh Jacobs scoring a touchdown. Yeah. It felt that way. It really did. Oh, and here's a Josh Jacobs highlight. Jacobs might be the biggest steal of the draft because he didn't go very early and he is tearing it up 
Yes, he is. Total opposite yeah. Kyle Pitts. Yeah, and I mean, he he was I was down on him at the beginning of the year for sure because I don't know, I just was, but man, he's come back with a vengeance. But hundred points difference—that's a big a big game. Um, we all did pick yeah. Ethan, so well, that was easy on the right side. Yeah, of he's on there. the right side of the screen. So there you go. Uh, last but not least, Elf Boy and Poor Quan. Just another story of a year that is already pretty much lost. But Grayson got a win. Yeah, it was the yeah. battle of the ones and fives. Grayson did well this week, but I still stand by the fact that these are the two of the worst teams in the league. I mean, Grayson had a good week. He would have beat everybody yeah. except for Ethan this week. He had one but good week. He oh, lost that. DK Metcalf, which like he did only get two points. But um, yeah, Matt I mean, his Metcalf's... bench actually did well too. Now looking at it. <laughs> Metcalf is not a season ender, I believe. I did. I think I heard that today. He's there, like he might be back as early as like this week coming up. I think is what I heard. I heard he's out this coming week because I was researching some Giants stuff, and they played the Seahawks. He, yeah, he may be. I just know it's not. He's not out for the season. He's not done. Um, I mean, congrats to Grayson. Broke out of the one and five. Uh, poor Quan just can't. Can't put it together. I he mean, he has the worst team. Worse than Steve's. Worse than Travis's. Yes, I would. Yeah. I, I mean, I guess he does. He's his RB one is Tony Pollard. Well, okay. But this he also had a bad bye weeks. I'm looking yeah, at he had it. Three bye weeks. But his okay. His RB one is Miles Sanders, which I hate that guy. I mean, he is on a good offense this year. I mean, Quan's team is just trash, guys. <laughs> Come on. I mean, Gino's not been bad. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> trying to find some light, okay? Uh, the only Quan's person still I want this. from Quan's team is Justin Jefferson or Michael Thomas. And I'm as I'm looking at it. <laughs> Man, I see that quarterback with 13, and I'm all about it. And I almost traded him, Garrett, instead of you for... Darren Waller, and good lord, I would have been a sad, sad boy. Darren Waller is trash, bro. I would have gotten a total of 10 points from Darren Waller. Yeah, this is... I mean, Quan's team is just bad. There's no way around it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that that's pretty much it. We all... Garrett picked Quan. And, right side of the screen. And we pick, we pick Grayson. So, good pick on us. Uh, that do you have a do you have overall records? Yeah, I was about to actually say that. Season, so I'm twenty six and sixteen. Caleb's twenty one and twenty one. Garrett so is ten and twenty. So, and Austin, I have a note is five and three. So, so Blake, your win percentage right now is sixty two percent, basically. I'll take it. And then what was Garrett? I'll do. I'll try to get his percentage. Ten and, 10 and 20. twenty. So I think he's twenty-five. That's not good. That's not. It's thirty-three. But good math. You'd yeah. think that flipping a coin would be closer to fifty percent, but what? <laughs> or like random chance. Uh, I'm closer to flipping a coin at fifty. I'm dead on fifty percent. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So there we go. We're all caught up on that. Let's go check the standings real quick. And then we can get into the meat and potatoes of this. Do you want to do a hot take recap real quick? Yeah, yeah. We're I, at 24 minutes, so we're, we're looking good, boys. That was a speedy I, uh, recap. I, th- I think, I mean, I'll, mine was Travis has the most points scored. I was off on that. By how obviously. much? Obviously. Uh, by about 70 points. He had 108. Ethan had 174. I, I mean, hey, he scored but the most. he had most, his best week. It was his best week. So you were like with it's a like grain of salt. Also, I just kind of noticed just now while I was looking, Garrett, your game was the only game where both teams scored over 100. Yeah, every other game was, like, just, so fucking Yeah, this sided. year's been, like, it seems like there's been Except lots for, of highs. Like, Caleb, your, yours was lows. a little closer. Yeah, just garbage time helped it. Everything else was literally, like, 50 points. It's nuts. 
This was the average win margin this week was 41 points. That's, that's the our average. Highest. The average that's significant. Win margin was that's a large. There was a one point game in there. So the yeah. uh, the the deviation the hundred, is large. The hundred pointer really carried the load on that, but um, but yeah, look well, at the standings. Me, like me and uh, me and Ethan kind of even it out. One point, hundred <laughs> points. Yeah, fifty. Literally, our entire division is almost within like one or two wins. I mean, it is within one or two wins, but like yeah, I mean, their division is like Nellis has the biggest one. Like just six and one, Ethan five and two, Philip four and three. I mean, our division almost highly almost every record over there six and one, five and two, four and three, three and four, and they're missing a two and five. If only Quan won this week, and it would have been perfect. Perfect. Uh, yeah, our our division. Everyone, the top three teams in our division going into this week all lost, and the bottom three teams all won. So we just squeeze together more, which is awesome as one of those bottom teams. I also, think I feel really good me. about Steve being the top team because I know his success is not sustainable. So The thing that's weird to me is why Garrett is ranked above me when I've beaten him. Uh, probably points four. I thought it was so, records and then points four. I don't know. I'm not the commissioner. Well, so in that situation, it is a three-way tie at four and three. And they just put it that way? I believe goes to points four, which would mean that Garrett... I thought it was head-to-head record and then points four. I think... I don't think that's how it is if it's a three-way tie, but I could be wrong. I think that's just for two-way ties. I I see what you're saying. Well, I mean, either way, I, I think... Steven's about to have won one of his last games he's won, sadly. <clears throat> Steven has the second least total points, and he is the second overall team right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there's not much more to say than that, but... <laughs> I will say Nellis has the least points against by, like, 20 points. He also has a good team. He has a lot of points for those, so I don't really think that matters that much. Who's the top yeah. points? I mean, it's not his right fault. It's though. Garrett. His Garrett has the most yeah, points for it. It's still Garrett. Yep. People be scoring, and I and I be scoring against them. I'm I'm getting closer on the points for lines, but not quite there. Yeah, Philip has the most points against. Poor guy. But uh, I mean, it is what it is. You get the you get the hand you're dealt, you know. Yeah, I mean, Philip and I are right there in points four, and he's a little ahead of me in points against. But that we have the same record, so that's it. All evens out, I think. I somehow I went up another place on that weird graph on the league home after my I loss. Just don't. I won this week, and my playoff percentage went from 25 to 23. It just makes no sense to me. But I don't know. But um, I guess, yeah, recap of the uh, hot takes. Hot take for me panned out, Giants. But I don't think I won. The, I said they won by double digits, but it was a very close game. It was a one-score yeah, game. It was a one-yard game. That – Stop was wild. We were we were like jumping around in my living room because we all bet on the Giants. Live. Oh yeah, I bet on the Giants too. So, <laughs> like well, we live bet them when they were down. So we we're like, all right. I mean, the refs. I feel like we're trying to extend the game as well. It was kind of. They had some. Water. That last drive was horrible. They were like, mm, pass interference. Oh, oh, it was roughing the passer. I was like, what? Roughing the passer. <laughs> but hey, they won. Giants six and one. Should we get into the meat? Yeah. What is? Wait. What was Garrett's hot take this week? That Dak comes back with a vengeance. Oh. Yeah, he said it while we were going over my game. What was Caleb's hot take? Travis. That Travis would be, be the uh, leading scorer this week. Not quite. I had the hottest take. I just wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mine was like a warm shower take. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah, some meat and potatoes. Let's go to the let's go let's go see what went down today, you know. <clears throat> Starting off, Garrett and his brother Ethan made some wheeling and dealing. Swindled. Uh I see Garrett got rid of Joe Burrow, James Steve. Robinson, Bucks defense. I don't know how to pull this up, so I can't exactly see it. But. Go to recent activity under the league. Um, I get Garrett and Joe Burrow. It makes a lot of sense because Garrett has Josh Allen. No reason to have Joe Burrow on your bench. Might as well get some starters for him. However, mm-hmm. I don't... I mean, I guess the Cowboys defense is the first overall defense. I don't... I didn't know that. But they've played They're really awesome bad teams. The like they've they've scored really big against the Rams who've had a bad start uh the Lions who's kind of died the Redskins the Giants Cincinnati Tampa Bay uh their worst week well one of their worst weeks was against Philly who was I consider a good team but I mean I guess looking ahead yeah. They play Chicago next week, then they're on bye, then they play Green Bay. So two more bad matchups. Uh, but then they face Minnesota, Giants, Indy. I mean, their matchups are really good. So I will give you that, Garrett. Your defense, you are got to plug and play for like the next couple weeks. Uh, Hawkinson? I, He's had one good week. Yeah. I don't. That's why, like, I don't. I'm confused why you wanted Hawkinson when you have Juwan Johnson, who's like pretty good. Is he? He's had one good week, also. I think. <laughs> yeah, but he's like, if you and look it was at nowhere near as good as TJ Hawkinson's good week. The Saints don't have Michael Thomas right now. They don't have uh, their other. Who is it? Who they trade for? Can't remember his name. It's their wide receiver, too, whoever it was. Jarvis Landry. Yeah. They're both out. So, I mean, like, I think Juwan... I would play Juwan this week. Uh, Uh, The Lions don't have Amon Ron St. Brown. He's he's coming back next week. They already confirmed it. So... I... I, I, if I was Garrett, would not have accepted this trade, but I get where he's coming from on what he needed, and he doesn't really need Joe Burrow anymore. So I understand why you took the trade. I just probably would have personally given up. I would not have given up James Robinson. Yeah, I probably would have tried to keep Robinson. Well, I needed a defense, and I don't need Joe Burrow, but... um, yeah, but you can't just trade Joe Burrow for a defense straight up. Yeah, are you guys? Gonna, I was gonna say, are you guys gonna pretend like that wouldn't have been vetoed? I personally would not have vetoed it because I understand. Okay, I would have one hundred percent vetoed that carry. Okay. <laughs> let me know. Let me know. It like, would have been. I wouldn't even have thought twice about it. Well, like Garrett has no need for Joe Burrow, so like, why would we not allow him to? That doesn't make him worthless, though. Yes, but it makes the best team even better. Yeah, but you're yeah. getting the number one defense, and they have a really weak schedule. So like I, I would look into that. Like I'd be like, okay, I see where he's coming from. But Blake's I trade know. logic, I am not on the same wavelength at all. I somewhat get it, but all, you can't look at it in a vacuum. But also, Ethan, I'm kind of arguing against myself here. But Ethan has the best team. I've said it before. I'll say it again. His team scares me the most, and I do think that his team is better now because he has a good quarterback. Yes. Which is more important than a good defense. Yes. But I already have a good quarterback, so I was willing to sacrifice for a good defense. Now, you guys can veto this all you want. I, I really – I know I can trade Joe Burrow, and I can get some value out of it. I like this trade, but I'm not going to be like – it's not going to be devastating to me if this trade gets vetoed. Yeah, also, what, I can see – I can understand the arguments as well. That's why I think – that's what I'm agreeing with you, Gary. I think – I don't know how much this trade benefits you other than just getting a better defense. That's all. That's like, oh, I feel like you gave up a lot for a single defense, but cause like, I mean, you're not going to start Robinson. Are you, I'm, let me go look at your team real quick. 
He's I'm, on Devin Duvernay is not like, in my opinion, he's the second, second or third. I don't know. Him and Robinson are both pretty close, like as far as value in my eyes go, because they both have kind of some upside to him, but also could be bad. It just kind of depends, you know. Oh no. So I th- I think it's a fair ish trade. It's more fair than some of the other trades that have went through. <laughs> I don't know. It like Joe Burrow's just scored forty two. I mean that offense could do that consistently. I know. So now that this trade has gone through and it's official, I was gunning for Joe Burrow today, and part of my hesitation was if you look at Burrow's schedule so far, he has only really had like good games against bad teams. I, I mean, pull it up. if you look at who he's playing, he plays Cleveland, plays Carolina, plays Pittsburgh again, plays Tennessee. Yeah. Look at look at those last three games in the playoffs when it matters, though. Buffalo or Baltimore's bad against the quarterback, but New England pretty strong defense. Buffalo the best defense in the league. Ah, uh, yeah, I would agree. I. I wouldn't want – I don't want that. <laughs> I just – I personally think Garrett could have gotten a lot more than what he got or given up less. Like, I think this would have been a fair trade had Garrett have done Joe Burrow, Bucks defense for everything else he got, personally. But to each their own, I I think, like I said, time will tell if this trade pans out, like – like, I mean, you never know who's going to get hurt. You never know who's going to get demoted in the lineups. I do think Garrett has doomed us, and Ethan's going to kill us all now. But that's yeah, just part of Yeah, Ethan's it. team has no weaknesses. His weakness is maybe his defense. And I mean, the Bucks defense is still good. I, I See, I'm skeptical on the Bucks defense being good. Um because they got four points against the worst team possibly ever. Which is? Could they score four games? Carolina. Oh, that's fair. I think the Bucks defense will be okay. Just because, I think. And now yeah, I'm, I think I'm, they're fine. They're just, uh, their, their ranking is inflated because they got like 30 points one week. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, very I true. Mean, you look at the rest of their weeks. The Cowboys have 225. Points. Average to fine. What? The Cowboys have two 25 point weeks. So for you, like. That, I guess is, that is better than the one 30 point week. <laughs> yeah, but they also have an 11, a 12, a 12, a 9. And like, I mean, if your defense scores eight. double digits, I consider that a win for every week. I consider yeah. it like eight or nine points for a defense pretty solid, to be honest. Well, Dallas's worst week is eight. Yeah. And so I mean, like, that's why I'm saying I see Garrett. I would not be upset having Cowboys defense. I didn't realize when I initially looked at that trade that Cowboys defense was that good. Um, but I just feel like I feel like you could have kept James Robinson and gotten the same people. But I don't know. It's it's done now. I don't think this is like absolutely veto worthy. But I think you could have kept more. Is what I thought. Not huge on James Robinson right now. I just think he's worth a stash since he's going somewhere new. But uh, then, yeah, so Caleb got swindled because he was looking at Joe Burrow. I'm not as mad about it, though, as uh, honestly. I'm happy with getting Yeah, I think, I mean, you gave up Lazard, who, what, you weren't really going to start anyway? I've not started him once. There was one week I was going to have to start him. And he's not, Lazard's a good receiver. He's, He's like 26th overall or something. He's very yeah, he's twenty six. He's very consistent. Yeah, I was gonna say he's in the teens almost every week. Oh, that's not a bad wide receiver two slash flex position at all. No, but I just I don't necessarily need it, and I need a quarterback. And as I was, I'm thinking playoffs already personally, even though I may not make it. That's and a, I think look Tom at this Brady playoff schedule for Brady, baby. I think Brady's going to pull it together eventually. And I mean, I like, think so too. He's Tom Brady. When I he, mean, we keep saying that. <laughs> no, when he's been bad, look, he has like 11, 10, 17, 30, 27, 15. 16. That's not bad. Like, it's not for Caleb, especially when he's used to five point quarterbacks. 
That's I a higher. Keep, I I am coming from a place of privilege right now. So yeah, your quarterbacks have averaged like thirty five points a week. So it's no. also like you saw Brady throw a perfect pass to Mike Evans for a sixty yard touchdown, and the guy just dropped it. Like if you watched any of this last game, I'm not saying Brady was perfect, but there were two or three very much should have been caught balls that were dropped. Yeah, like, I'm just equating the Bucks being bad to Brady being bad, which isn't necessarily true. He, Brady's not bad. The Bucks are just bad. So he's only thrown one interception all year. In his final three games, Arizona, Carolina, Atlanta. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's a bad – like you're not giving up a ton to get a starting QB. And I've still got Dak, so I'll, I'll – Probably keep you both of them. And Dak. Like, see um, if Dak turns it, you know, turns on or not. Yeah, I mean, I think that's all good. And I mean, but Ethan's team just got the benefit of also both of those trades because Alan Zard's doing better than I thought he was. I don't yeah. know if he's Ethan's actually ever going to start him, but well, that's I, he probably has probably will use him for like a week or two. I wouldn't expect him to be an every week starter. I mean, he's got yeah. Cooper Cup. DeAndre Hopkins and Travis Etienne is flex. Yeah. It's I actually not fair. Him. And now he's going to have Alan Zard just to, you know, just if he has a bye week. Well, but everyone needs different things. Like, I mean, you, you look at a team that needs maybe help from injuries and they'll give up a better receiver to split up two lesser receivers. I don't know. It's, it's just like depends on the team needs. And I think the team need for Caleb was QB, and I think that was a good a good reach. You didn't give up much capital. Garrett also needed uh, to move Joe Burrow, and I, he got the number one defense, and they have a pretty weak schedule. So, boom, boom. That's all I got. That's all I got. Done. I'm ready, to get, I'm ready to get hype. All right. Probably poop. Uh, let's, yeah. Good, good recap, guys. Good. Stay in tune. Pre pre pod. Another day down.